All right, two more, two more, here we go. Solve the following quadratic inequality. Now, we're starting with x squared plus seven is greater than six x. First things first, let's get it equal to zero. So, all I did was subtract the six x, giving me x squared minus six x plus seven is greater than zero. From here, solve as you would normally. You have options here. Quadratic formula, completing the square, factoring. I'm gonna use quadratic formula. It seems like most of you use that. So let's go ahead and use it. I get negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 36, minus 4ac, which gives us 28, all over 2a, which is just 2. Now at this step, I get 6 plus or minus square root 8 all over 2. Breaking the radical down, we get 6 plus or minus 2 square root 2 all over 2. I know I'm going a little quick, but we should all be able to solve with quadratics. Everything reduces, we get 3 plus or minus square root 2. Now that's as far as you go with an exact answer, but we have to test this. So we need actual numbers that we can put on a number line. So I'm going to have us estimate square root 2 to 2 decimal places, so about 100. So that's really 1.41. So now I have 3 plus or minus 1.41, which gives me my two answers of 4.41 and 1.59. So let's find out where our answers lie. I'm going to use the number line now. I know that 1.59 and 4.41 are really my border points. All my answers hinge upon those two values. So I need to pick numbers in all three areas of the graph and test them. So I'm going to pick a number less than 1. 0 sounds pretty good. I'm going to pick a number between 1 and 4. Uh, 2 sounds good. And I'm going to pick a number greater than 4. Let's go with 5. Now, my goal now is to just test it against my actual inequality. So here we go. Come on, there we go. Let's test zero first. We can do this in our head. Plug zero in. Is seven greater than zero? Yes. So this one gets a check. Two, let's plug two in. We get four minus 12, if this ever work correctly, plus seven, I don't even know why I try. You know what? Adapt. Plus seven greater than zero. This gives us negative one greater than zero. That's a false statement, so it does not work there. Lastly, plugging a five in. We get 25 minus 30 plus seven. Think about it, we'll do that in our head. 25 minus 30 plus seven, okay? we get 32 greater, uh, 32 minus 30, leaving us with two greater than zero on this side, which is true. So yes, that also gets the check. Let's see if the thing wants to work again. Nope, still not. Well, not gonna stop us. Notice my answers are less than 1.59 and greater than five. So what do I do? I write it I'm going to show the notation way that we could use uh, function notation, and then we'll also show with interval notation. Here my answer set lies with x such that x is less than 1.59, or x is greater than 4.41. So there is my solution set. If I want to use interval notation, it's even simpler if you remember how to do it. Negative infinity all the way up to 1.59, both with parentheses because it's not equal to, or 4.41 to infinity. Hopefully that helps you solve a quadratic inequality. Even with technical difficulties, we can get, still go through and solve it.